we are currently in Oakland, California, and we're just spending the weekend here because I'm writing an exhibition review, and the exhibition was originally all online, but because things are opening up, the actual location in Palo Alto Art Center has opened up, and so I thought, why not drive up to Oakland to actually see the exhibition that I am reviewing, to have an opportunity to see it digitally, experience it digitally, but then also get to feel bougie and walk into a museum again. So this will be the first museum I have been in in over a year, and I am so excited. So I haven't actually talked to you all in a while and that's because when we got back from San Francisco, I had these giant bug bites all over my body and then it turned into an allergic reaction. So that took a couple of days for me to figure out how to fix it, how to feel better and then I had to catch up with work and then that turned in from Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday to Thursday and now it's a week later. So not only was I not able to keep up with schoolwork or work and vlogging, but I also didn't do any like home cleaning stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. So as I was saying in my last vlog that once you advance the candidacy, there's really not a lot of structure that comes with that. And so I've been thinking that for me to thrive in the way that I want to, I probably need to set a sort of routine or try to develop a schedule so i think for the month of july that is going to be my goal i'm going to work really hard to try and structure my days even though there's nothing really holding me accountable to it or there's no consequences if i don't follow it but i'm going to try to work to have a set schedule give myself deadlines and really organize my days so I'm able to create goals and hopefully by the end of the summer do all of the writing that I wanted to do. It's 8 a.m. This is my first attempt to start my schedule. And I can tell you already, I am not loving it.
Okay, we are back home. That was so much fun. I think the best part about being a student is that is that there are so many student perks. And as being a grad student, I know there's like this like doubt or this question about social life. Like, can you join clubs? Should you join clubs? How social can your life be as a graduate student? But today we went kayaking for free. Literally for me, it was free. And then for Eric, it was $5 because UCLA students get a guest pass. And so there's a lot of perks that you get from going to a large research institution. And all of those perks apply to all of their students, which includes graduate students. So I think while it's really a big part of like grad school culture is to like sequester yourself into the void and become a hermit, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way, especially during the summer. Um, and I think that's something I've had to learn. I mean, I've always been pretty social. And even my first year, I was in clubs and organizations that were mostly undergraduate, um, but still very much connected to my interests. But I think now I'm trying to make it a more conscious effort to make sure I'm using the resources that come with going to UCLA, but also living, just having a work-life, school work-life balance. And that is definitely a new skill that I'm learning to develop. But I think it's important for everybody to just remember you're a person first and grad school is only a part of your life and it shouldn't consume all parts of your life. And even if you take breaks, have fun, do fun things on the weekend, have social time, you will still graduate. What challenges everyone wants to talk about and then things that are in the future that might actually be. Hi. So, I've been working all day. I've been on the computer all day. I start off my morning in meetings, preparing for next month where I'm going to be doing a lot of teacher assistant training academies and faculty summer institute training workshops and things like that to, you know, make people more inclusive, equitable educators. Um, so that's what I've been doing all morning. I am currently in my dissertation writer's boot camp where we learn about tricks and tips about writing a dissertation but then we also kind of do an hour together pomodoro style of writing your first chapter or whatever chapter you're on and i had this epiphany really i was talking to my mom on the phone and she kind of guided me towards this epiphany i know i said earlier this month that i realized i don't have structure and because i don't have structure and deadlines it's hard for me to write but then my mom reminded me when i was writing my masters i had no structure i had no classes i had saved up money to live in philadelphia without having to work so i literally was doing nothing but writing and so i had no structure at all and i really enjoyed that time and i wrote a really good master's thesis and so I don't think structure is actually pro the problem. And through my conversation with my mom, I realized that I'm actually burnt out. That it's not that I don't have structure. It's that I'm constantly working. And like, even now, like I said, I have this job that I have to do and it's all the time, constantly. And there's just no down time. There's no time to relax. Even when I'm relaxing, I have to work on something. I have to do grants. I have to, you know, look for more jobs for the future. And so I think the reason why I'm not writing as much is because I have burnout. And I'm not too sure how to deal with burnout except for to relax, but I don't really have the ability to relax because I still gotta pay bills. So with that said, I'm going to try to practice patience with myself and just not put all this pressure to produce a bunch of academic stuff during the summer and hopefully through relaxing or doing my best to relax, I will be more productive in the fall and be able to keep my head above water. Cause that's the most important thing. I don't think grad school should consume your whole life and it's very easy for it to consume your whole life and not even notice. And I'm trying to be more aware and I'm trying to notice. So I started off July really like, I'm gonna have structure and be productive and then did absolutely nothing. And now I know it's like, okay, I need to actually try to relax instead of force my body to do something it doesn't want to do. So we'll see what that looks like or how that turns out. So wish me luck. <laughs>
So the reason I'm packing is because we're spending the weekend in Orlando with my family because my little brother has a basketball tournament and it's the last time he gets to play for the entire year. So I wanted to make sure that we go and get to support. And I am so excited. I wanna take you to the places that we never been. My everyday Valentine loving better than anything I ever asked for. I see that we will last three times a charm, and they say the best to save for last. Time keeps on slipping through the oxygen. That type of energy you can't title or, or box it in. Here, here and there, essential as thin air. This a deep breath that the top case of heaven stares. Bless with our wings, so we fly us all outdoors before we make that move she know that he started out poor true but they get it made a plan and did it so we're back at the airport it was a really quick turnaround but we had so much fun it was so beautiful the weather was so nice we ate really well that's what i care most about in life and my brother did really really well in his basketball tournament so i'm very very happy with this weekend trip. I, I, I got what you need, essential this, essential that. An existence that take me high, give me vibe, I give it back. I know you got what I need, essential this, essential that. Existence that take me high, give me vibe, I give it back. I know I got what you need, essential this, essential that. Existence that take me high, give me vibe, I give it back. You got what I need, essential this, essential that. Existence that take me high, give me vibe. I